Hi, I'm Luca Russo from Surfcasters Journal, and today I thought I'd show you how to cut and make the uh, tubes, smaller tubes, for a surf bag so that all your plugs aren't getting all knotted up. Um, last month we showed that uh, I had some ready made and showed how convenient it was to put those inserts into your bag and then be able to pull one, maybe two plugs out at a time. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the tubes and these tubes we got from vistapack.com um, in a bulk order and these are one and a half inch tubes. So what I'm going to do is I want to make sure that I get my cuts straight to start this. So I pre-measured and my tubes were seven inches long. So I'm using this miter box here to give me a straight cut. So I'm going to measure out my seven inches. Now you have two choices. If by some chance you don't have a miter box, you can always take some masking tape, take it and just bring it around to give you a straight edge. Line it up, and you can use that as your guide. I have a, a, a pullback cross cut saw, but you can use a hacksaw, anything with fine teeth. You don't want to splinter this and have it breaking apart on you. Good. Okay. That simple. All right, so for the sake of time, I've already cut some of these. And we'll bring them out. Now I've decided I pre-fit these into the bag. And then I decided in this case, I want to put six in there. I could put seven, but I'm going to stick with six. It fits nice, it gives me a little room around the bag, and I'll be able to use this as a, a, a belt bag in the spring. So what you want to do is take your hot glue gun and make sure it's real hot. Give it plenty of time because you want to make sure that this glue is going to adhere to the tubes when you stick it together. So in order for me to get it straight, line when I'm putting these together what I normally do is I'll take the glue and put it on the side make sure you put plenty because if you don't they're gonna come apart on you alright while well, it's still hot I'll take my tubes and put them together make sure that the bottoms line up and let that cool for a second After this cools down a couple of seconds, and it's pretty sturdy, again, I'm going to take my glue. Now I'm putting, I've already pre-glued these two pieces together so that they're straight. I did it on a, a solid surface. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the other tubes so that when I stick everything together, it's nice and tight. So we're going to... Make sure you get enough glue because if you're going to do this right, you go through some serious amounts. Okay, plenty of glue. Put them together. Make sure the sides are all lined up and the bottom is lined up. And now I have my six tubes. I'm going to wait for a second for this to cool and then I'm going to take it and I'm going to put more glue in the seams. Make sure that there's plenty there. Glue is cheap enough that you don't want to be out fishing and have your bag start coming apart. OK. 
Okay, again, let that dry good. Some guys put the bottom caps on. You can feel free. I figure this is a small bag. If I'm out on the water and the plug gets hung up, I'll just pull the whole thing out, slide it, and unhook the, uh, unhook the uh, stuck hook myself. Let that dry, cool a few seconds. Put it in there. Now you have a nice fit that you can put all your plugs, put in bombers. The intention on this one is to put bombers, SP minnows, all the small stuff that you'd use in the spring. You can probably fit two plugs in a lot of these and not have any issues with everything tangling up.